once the Super Bowl is over, I think we talked about it the day after the Super Bowl was over. And we said, okay, Rams are now going to be hosting the Super Bowl, uh, the, the opener of 2022. Let's take a look at their opponents. Who do you think it can be? This was just three weeks after the Bills and the Chiefs played one of the most amazing playoff games we've ever seen. And we said Bills at Rams, even though the Cowboys were on the schedule. And I'm like, you cannot put a team in the position of opening the season in the home of the Super Bowl champs as they raise the banner in the stadium that they normally play in because they won the Super Bowl there too. You can't give that assignment to the same team two years in a row. You just right, can't. Right, right. Makes no sense. matter how popular the Cowboys are. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, fair. And then Russell Wilson got traded to Denver. And you said, hey, hold your horses. Denver's on the Rams schedule. Yeah. I'm like, that's it. That would have been that's a good it. one. Russell Wilson's first game as a Bronco is in front of the entire country. Yeah. That makes sense. Whole country gets to give it, get get an eye of, of of what Russell looks like in orange or that Bronco helmet after ten years in Seattle. And I thought that would be it. Then a few days ago, as their piecemeal morsel announcing the schedule, it, that's the middle game of the Christmas doubleheader, triple header. Pardon me. Right. Here. In Los Angeles, Denver at the Rams, Christmas Day. So, when are they going to play Denver at Seattle? Is a question that you you know you have going in. That was one of that was my number one game on Wednesday. I did that that piece you may have missed it. You were out. Suze was sitting there, and we were all talking about it. And I like the ten, the top ten games I'm looking forward to seeing get scheduled. Number one was Russell at Seattle. I, I can't believe yeah, I that they chose Russell at Seattle to be the first week of the season. Boom. Now it's big because it's the first Monday night game of the season. Buck and Aikman now in the Monday night football booth. And there's a lot of curiosity factor, clearly. But Russ at Seattle, week one. It starts with Bills and Rams. And then Cowboys Bucks is the first Sunday night game. Oh. Again. Just like last year, it was the first game of the season last year, period. But that was in Tampa. This is in the Jones Mahal, and Brady is going to get his first look close up, knowing that he's a Fox broadcaster of the place where he's going to be broadcasting most of his games mm-hmm. as a Fox broadcaster in that building. I might go to that game. You should. Go for it. <laughs> you should go. <laughs> Brady, come, Brady's 6 0 against you, Dallas. You've come back from that stadium uh, for a Monday show after being at uh, an event there for on yeah. a Sunday. You did this, that for WrestleMania. This is true. Go for it, brother. You should do that. <laughs> so, and uh, all I'll say is this clearly, <laughs> we'll be all eyes peeled on that game. Russ in Seattle is off the charts in terms of interest of him returning there. But I feel for him, man. I know we just had Steve Mariucci last hour, and he was saying, you know, you got to play it sometime. And you heard Brett Veach in hour number one. I'm like, man, you start three of your first four on the road, and then you've got a three-game road stretch. You're one of only four teams that have to play three straight in a road, and that's going to be in December. And he's saying, oh, you know what? We just know we got to play these teams. Now we just know when we play him. Uh, you got to play him when you play him. And I'm sure Russ will say that when he's in front of a microphone and he comments on the fact that he's got to go back to Seattle right off the bat. But that is a game that is filled with all sorts of emotion for him. And he can handle the emotion, I understand. But it is going to be filled with him talking on his Wednesday media session about going back to Seattle. I mean, just imagine what it was like last year for Brady going back to New England. Nothing will be as intense as that. The only thing that we've ever seen that's as close to that was when Favre went back to Green Bay and when Peyton went back to Indianapolis, when Montana went back to Candlestick. And the reason why I bring up those names in relation to this is because Russell Wilson joins that quartet as the only quarterbacks to face a team that he's won 100 games with. Oh, wow. Those are the only five quarterbacks that have ever won 100 games with a team and then went back and faced that team as a member of another team. Nobody's ever done that. In the case of Peyton 
and Brady and Favre and Montana, they all had a full year with their new team before having to go back to their old place of business. Russell won't even have a full game. He won't even have a full quarter. Yeah, Unless you count play. whatever preseason he plays. He's not going to play much preseason. I mean, with a new coach, a new system, a new place, a new setup, a new everything, his first road trip, his first everything is going to have to be countenanced and approached by him in Seattle. And it's just like that has zero chill to it. And I'm wondering what he thinks. Maybe he's sitting there. I got at least I get it out of the way. It's done, and I'm not going to sit yeah, there. That's kind of but what they I take, think. but they take everything week to week in this league. It's not like he's going to be playing in week one, thinking, "Well, I'm week ten, I'm going to have to go back to Seattle." He'll face that when he gets to it. It's not like Brady when he took on the Cowboys in week one last year. It was like in three weeks' time, it's going to be insane for me. No, they they all compartmentalize everything week to week. But the first week for anybody after winning a hundred games with another franchise. Their first game with that new team, it's going to be an out-of-body experience to begin with. And then on top of it, the visitors' locker room in front of the 12s? I'm like, wow. I'm sh- ESPN, got to be over the moon. Buck and Aikman last night when I talked to them on the, on the schedule show, of course they're excited about it. And all fans are just going to be like, "This, what's this going to be like? But for Russ, it's, it's going to take all of his focus – all of his world famous compartmentalizing. And when game starts, I'm sure he's going to be in the middle of it, but he even felt weird watching Brady back in New England in quarter three of that game. It just was weird from start to finish. And I'm just wondering what it's going to be like for him. I'm a, I, I was stunned that they did that week one. I actually think it's a great thing for him. It's a great thing for the Broncos, too. Get this big distraction out of the way. Also, Seattle, they're going to be in the running for the number one pick next year. We don't know who their quarterback is. Pete Carroll, does he have one foot out? Russell Wilson seemed like he had a couple feet out for the last couple of years. I don't know, brother. I, I think this game, that game's going to be a blowout, and it's going to be great for Denver. You know what? Uh, the other person I feel for in this one is... Whoever's quarterbacking Seattle? Drew Locke. Do we know that's going to be I'm him? Saying, well, I'm just it could saying, be, it could be it's, Geno Smith. It's Drew, Drew Locke's revenge game completely, totally blown up. That was going to be no matter when you play it, but it's wild. His first games against his former team against Russ, the pressure, you got to win this one. Watch, Kenny Walker is going to run all over the place. Yeah, maybe, He's going to yeah, run maybe. all over Denver's defense. And I, I, week one, anything can happen, and he's just – He's going to want to come in to Seattle with his team and a big head of steam, and he's gotten everything controlled on his offense, yeah, and he's, well. he's gotten so much under his belt, and the schedule makers are like, nah. What if Nuh-uh. it's Baker Mayfield versus Russell Wilson? Well, I, you no, know what I mean? I mean, like, we have no idea who's going to be quarterbacking that team. It's going to be a big game no matter what. I was just surprised, like, right out of the gate, they're doing that one. Yeah. Like, with so many different games that ESPN could have, and even on a Monday night schedule that is loaded. Also, the other thing kind of looming over this too, Rich, Denver's going to have new ownership. We don't know who's going to be running that team. So there's just so much going into it. Uh, Also, Chris, I feel like maybe the biggest story here is the media won't have the the ability to make such a big deal about this game if it did land in week seven or eight. Then you'd have everything pointing to this and now like playoff implications what does this mean for the state now it's over it's done with and and just and you want to talk about bookends you take a look at the seattle schedule it's week one they start at home by the way russ has only started three seasons in seattle he always started on the road more than not so now he's the road team he's finally in seattle he's the road team uh week one seattle starts at home it's russ week 18 final game of the season for the uh, for the Seahawks at home, that's when Bobby Wagner's showing up oh, with the Rams. So bookend, big time reunion games for the Seahawks. Week one and week eighteen in front of the twelves. That's cool. That's the way they wound up scheduling that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 